Lovators. I'm going to really have to get better at pronouncing that. <laughs> Put out the Doom Shigenja, which is answered by Naneki's also, also Doom Shigenja. So in terms of this matchup, um, I would say the Pathfinder's Blade is obviously of extreme importance uh, for making your attacks, but correlated with that is let, the use of let goes is extremely um, important point of the game for these uh, these guys. You have to... Um, really choose your let goes uh well like because you got some high priority targets like the pathfinder's blade itself so make your provinces have some bite um you have the deadliest province lineup in the game plus you have um cloud in the mind you have to deal with going down in your characters and the reprieve so all of those are high priority targets um, and that's too many for your let goes so you got to really choose uh, there's a couple neat ma uh, mystic ne my mystics in the decks but not that many so we see uh naneki um buy out three characters uh which is a pretty wide start uh, i would say for dragon nowadays um i think they're both looking to be somewhat aggressive or at least defend any conflicts that are coming in um so we initiate with one fate which is pretty standard because you know if you're going to pay a fate to honor him you want to keep him around for next year we have a source mess with only one you also see it with two three because it's such a good character but uh they both have assassinate in their deck so unless you can find a reprieve or finger of jade you are kind of risking it um, although there's a Tagashi initiate on Litter's side without the fate, so I don't know if he's going to pay to honor it or not. We'll see. We see a reprieve going on down on the Doom Shigenja because he knows his opponent has two assassinates. That's lit on Litter's side. Um, let me expand this guy so we can get more, more, uh, more space. Uh, if for some reason my volume's off or anything like that, <laughs> hopefully people are watching. If not, I mean, I'm sure people will enjoy it on VOD. Uh, let me know. Um, okay, so Swordsmith takes a reprieve, so which I'm sure is probably going to go on the Swordsmith itself. Um, we'll see. Maybe Doom Shigenja as well. Uh, we see a Pathfinder's Blade uh, drop down on the Doom Shigenja, uh, which definitely means he's going to push for a break as hard as he can. You don't want to waste that. Uh, well, I guess he could, he could next round too because of the reprieve, but let goes there's the thing. Oh, there's a let go on the Pathfinder's Blade yet, yeah, which I think is the number one um, kind of target, especially early, uh, for your let goes. So we'll see if he has another one. I mean, oh, he drops the Skirmisher, which means he's definitely looking to attack. I would guess he's going to covert around the Doom Shigenjo, because that's the only sort of mil uh, military threat on board. And he's just going to go for... Well, he went down to six cards for Restoration. And he's got no characters with Fate. So actually, this is an alternate way if you can't make your Pathfinder's Blade stick is you just kind of neuter the provinces a little bit. Uh, only having to give up two cards or in case of Feast or Famine, you're just completely safe. So he's going in. Um, he's coverted. He's going in with Strength 4. And he's coverted the, the Strength 3 character for Naneki. Um, so this is, a, this is a really solid attack. I mean, he's going to have to uh, probably put in at least one character and sticks a bunch of attachments on it to uh, defend this. Now, at the same time, you know, attacking first um, the, as the opponent of dragons can sometimes be, uh, or sorry, when you're going into, because you're giving them a chance to defend and use cards. But there's no defense um, uh, on that attack, and he um, instead just lets it break, knowing that it's unlikely he would have been able to uh, stop that, even with the two characters being two forced down. So we'll see if he has a Pathfinder's Blade or some cards to pre-play so that he can uh, reduce some of the provinces. Although he has um, risk of Feast or Famine. Uh, not a huge impact, but certainly would give a pretty big swing early. So let's see if he, um, if he being Neki, sorry. <laughs> uh, dragon on the top, let's go. Maybe that'd be the easiest thing. Uh, I got used to saying the names. So the Swordsmith is going to make an attack um, on... Uh, political water. Uh, so if that was um, Feast or Famine, there would be some risk. Uh, hit Sainful Display, unfortunately. Uh, so the Takashi Initiate is waiting with its two glory for that, uh, which is going to knock this conflict down to three to one to start. Uh, Neki has a two card advantage, but being uh, two strength down on this attack, I don't know if he can get high enough to break it. And if he can't break it, um, I suppose Earthring's valuable enough right now when you're ahead on cards. So Naneki uses court games to get his uh, swordsmith back. Oh no, to un. It makes more sense to do 
to unhonor the Tagashi Initiate um, and come back to winning the conflict on the, on the attacker wins ties. Let's see if there's a counter court game. So Ancient Master goes down out of the conflict. Uh, he wants favor. Um, these are Samiko lists, after all, and centers. Each of them is on two centers. So he doesn't want to lose that card. Drops it down out of the conflict. Um, we'll see if Naneki has that assassination. He probably would have used it already. Oh, maybe not. Um, we see a Jade Masterpiece. Very good economy card uh, for denying, both getting economy and denying economy uh, from your... So, yeah, <laughs> Naneki jokes at the math because I think he put it down there to use his box that he thought he would break, but that would only place him at three strength versus one. He would need another attachment uh, on the Swordsmith, which I don't know if he wants to... Um, certainly has repeats in his deck, but I don't know if he wants to to uh, put, in, put that many attachments on the character with only one fate. I don't think you can tower up. Uh, a, a two cost uh, when you're risking assassinate and, um, and uh, one that doesn't have enough fate to really stick around that long. So he wins the ring. Uh, there's lo loses a reprieve, which is pretty big um, for... Uh, Litors loses the reprieve, which is pretty big. Oh, so not going to use the Ancient Master to get favor. Well, I mean, indirectly he is um, because if he wins this ring, but he hits Shameful Display uh, which is going to go back the other way, and even more so. Uh, so we'll have a three versus one uh, political battle on the void, um, which means really this is a battle over favor, uh, which with two centers in each deck, that's pretty big. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, the scouting information is valuable, but I'm not entirely sure this fight was worth it, being down cards, and you would have been equal strength. Um, So Shameful doesn't break. Uh, Defender claims the ring, which means Naneki is going to have favor for next turn, unless another Ancient Master comes down. Of course, um, Latours is up one break, which is pretty valuable, uh, and knows about two knows where two provinces are. Uh, like I said, they're uh, not on the Sacred Sanctuary. Oh, okay, second attack is going to go through another conflict character. So we see the third conflict character dropping between these two players in the first uh, turn. That's pretty big stuff coming out of town. It's like, it's not drop bears, it's like drop squirrels. <laughs> All these small conflict characters, but still a lot of them. Uh, so Tattooed Wanderer is likely just going to go back into Shameful Display, I would imagine. Ring-wise, it's nothing that valuable. I mean, he could honor his Swordsmith again for like a one point of strength thing. Uh, that w uh, and he can take air ring, which is not particularly valuable at this point. But you know, they're both both because they both want to be drawing five for quite a while. So I don't think dishonor is in the cards. So it's shameful display. It's going to be fire, which I can see. I mean, he can can get his swordsmith to be uh, in position to to threaten provinces. A lot more effectively. Uh, drops a Ancestral Daisho, which is obviously a good choice for a character with no fate, onto Shameful Display. So unless there's an assassination um, here, or a conflict character, and a contributing another card for military strength, then it's going to break. So we have a feast or fam break on one side and a shameful display break on the other side. So going into the next round, this is looking pretty even, I would say. Um, maybe a little bit uh, benefit for Naneki since his swordsmith is a with a J masterpiece is pretty strong. Um, and uh, the Taurus has only got a Doomshig engine and Dishonored Ancient Master, which is not good for much other than it's good at getting favor. But Naneki has favor. He has a two card advantage. He has an honored to Geshe Initiate, which is a 3 3. And he has a 1 3 Swordsmith with the ability. Uh, but Latours does have two extra fate, which can be uh, quite significant when you want to load up a character in this round to be the tower. So uh, Latours flips. He's got Yukuni. He's got Neat and Master uh, and Maya Mystic. Uh, so it's a pretty good flip for him, as well as the, the card draw, additional card draw. 
On the other side, we got another swordsmith, uh, a political operative, uh, sorry, Katsuki investigator, and uh, I'm thinking of Netrunner there, and a Tomo Courier. So he buys the investigator uh, with two fate. Um, not as strong as it is in some matchups like Crane and Scorpion, but still pretty strong here. You can get rid of some pretty key attachments like Spathfinder Blades and stuff. Let goes. Um, so is Littor's going to go with the Neaton Master or is he going to go with the Akuni? He could go Neaton Master, some Fate, and the Maya Mystic. Or I would probably just go Neaton Master because you have a chance to get the passing Fate. Eh, probably not. I would think Naneki's not going to buy the Atomal Courier. He might. Oh, he goes Yakuni with three. Um, right now, I think um, either you, you're copying the investigator uh, and Naneki gets the passing fate, or Alfred. Sorry if it's confusing. So Alfred is Naneki. Um, um, uh, so Yakuni can copy the investigator, uh, which is not bad, but he's not particularly rich. Um, right now, so that, that would cut in. Or he could just copy the swordsmith for some draw right now. We have a favorable ground on Neneki's side, so he can sort of bait a defense and leave. Uh, but he's got a, he's going into unknown provinces, um, and it doesn't have any pathfinder blade out. He's got a swordsmith, and he's got you know up to f probably five cards drawn, so pretty good chance of finding one. But we'll see. And I believe he's already used one, so he's two left. No, nope, it was the other way around. Sorry, Lettor <laughs> sometimes has used the pathfinder blade, so he still has three in his deck. And he will have, you know, by the end of this, probably drawn 18 of his cards. So I'm sure he has them by now. So Naneki actually bids four um, to five, which is interesting. I mean, he does he maybe has an assassination in hand. He wants to give a little honor padding. <clears throat> maybe he has two assassinations and he wants some honor padding there. But I don't know if the, the one honor was worth uh, evening up the card advantage here um, because the storehouse plus the one extra card. Uh, he has a Shigenja. They both have Shigenja. So we'll see if the Cloud the Mind comes down on Yukuni, which it does. Cloud the Mind comes down in the conflict phase. He's first player, so that was okay. Usually you see that in the draw phase so that the Yukuni player can not uh, copy an ability because the ability would run out at the end of uh, the draw phase. But it's first player, that's okay. So Yukuni... Um, We'll see if that, that gets let go at some surprise moment. So yeah, I think uh, the volume's good and everything, or if there's any questions you have or comments you want to make, please, please do in the comments. Uh, I don't know if there's any viewers, but... Um, certainly uh you know speak up if you can it's always fun to hear what people have to say about the the matchup or what's going on or sort of anything general again this is the pack two uh was the sort of cut off when the tournament began so uh swordsmith goes and fetches uh kazuki method uh which is a good card i i mean uh, right now oh he, um that's because naneki has no fans in his deck so uh that's his sort of political buff option along with court games. So Pathfinder's Blade comes down on the Tagashi Initiate. Um, I mean, I guess I guess so. He wants to attack with it. 3-3 is three, three, his strongest military character. Um, so I'm thinking he's going military. Except it's an assassinatable character. I mean, Littors only has one assassinate. And uh, you, he may just want to use it on the, the Swordsmith instead. But certainly getting rid of that Pathfinder's Blade, although it'll already be used if Restoration is found, which is the main worry right now, I would think. Although Feast or Famine can be really nasty with a two-fate um, Katsuki Investigator. Uh, Jade Masterpiece moves the fate off the Air Ring to the Fire Ring. Um, yeah, I mean, taking Yukuni down to a 2-2 two -two is pretty strong. Um, so that's a high-value ring right now. The Fable Ground's there, so it, you know, at worst he's going to get probably a pretty good defender to try to stop this, and he can always just leave if it looks like he's going to lose.
Okay, so he's choosing, he's playing the, the, the roulette. Uh, but the Pathfinder's play was not let go, so he's really looking for restoration, which he finds. So that was a good hit, good province hit um, for uh, Alfred there, or Nenniki. Um So ca Pathfinder's Blade cancels the, uh, what it would be, five-card loss um, there. Uh, so Yukuni's kind of forced to defend, otherwise he becomes kind of a 2-2 semi-potato um, there, which means uh, this will be a difficult conflict, I think, for... Um, Alfred to win, but at the same time, you know, his one cost character is tied up a uh, five cost Yukuni, so I'm sure he's okay with that. Oh no, Alfred plays uh, one of his two Spreading the Darknesses, which means now he can't be assassinated, and he goes up to seven. So that definitely demands an answer um, from Yukuni. Yukuni goes to seven himself with the attachment, nine with the box. Um, but he's forcing cards out of hand, but there are attachments on Yukuni, which are going to be around for maybe four rounds, so don't know if that's really getting him to use that many cards. So, uh, um, Alfred's really going for it. He, he pops in a bonsai as well, taking this initiate up to 11. <laughs> 11 attack. Um, that's a, that is a fighting mad initiate, I can tell you that. Um, thanks, Eric, for letting me know. So he's really going for the break here. Um, like it's really about the ring. I mean, I can't imagine that Litor's really cares that Restoration balance is going to break here, because um, he kind of wants him to to move off of that uh, farmable province. So let's see. I mean, box would prevent it from breaking, but it seems like a waste of the box at this point um, to do that, especially with seven cards. It's, okay. So Alfred plays Censure on. Oh, uh, cancelling Bonsai. So one of those two centers comes out, saying, proving that the favor was pretty valuable last turn, and Ancient Master might have might have been better to stay at home. Um, uh, let's see. So Restoration's back to breaking. Uh, I mean, yeah, even the Bonsai would have only... T oh, Bonsai plus Box would have taken Ikuni up to winning the conflict. So... Yeah, a three fate y dishonored Yakuni isn't uh, isn't that much fun. <laughs> Clouded too as well. Uh, so you got your eight fate investment. It's been turned into a two two. Uh, I guess the a four two with the sword. You'll, I'm sure you can court games at some point in the future. But why? Well, and he's a one heck of a standard for the favor as well. Okay, so Restoration breaks. It's the second break on turn two for Hananeki. And he managed to tie up, again, a pretty big defender with his one-cost character. So uh, muting the attack of Latorus fairly substantially because now he has to worry about six political, seven political with the favor coming back. And I don't know if he wants to give up that third break at this point. The second skirmisher comes down for Latorus. Um... Yeah, I mean, coverting, I guess, the swordsmith, uh, because you really don't want the political operative to defend military. Uh, second Pathfinder's Blade for Latours. He's going to go scouting around. Maybe he's got 50-50 on his own restoration, uh, finding his own uh, restoration of balance. We'll see if there's a let go and answer. And Neki has used one let go, so mm, odds are not great that he's gonna that he has it in hand. Okay, we see a fairly substantial attack, five mil, uh, leaving only a, only the ancient, dishonored ancient master for defense. Uh, looks like he's just going to try to race and trade break for break here. I mean, he is first player next turn, but with mm, I don't even know if he has the better board next turn. Um, okay, finds mana cured, uh, which is good in its own way. I mean, now he knows where restoration is, and he, feast of famine is already broken, so he can either. Um, just reduce his cards and go at Restoration or just stick with Manicured and, and Shameful. Not the most palatable option to stick with Shameful, but that's Dragon Province rule for you. So the Pathfinder's Blade used to cancel the Manicured Garden's ability. Um, I can see it. I mean, it is, you're basically a zero-cost card to uh, keep one fate, fate off your opponent. It's pretty strong. Um, sorry, I gotta go check something. I'll be right back, guys.
Sorry, everybody, for that. Uh, <laughs> my daughter built a giant book tower in her room, and it falling over was uh, similarly sounding to uh, <laughs> a six-year-old girl falling off her bunk bed. So I um, <laughs> had to go run up and check that, make sure everything was okay. Everything's fine. Just a messy book tower now. Anyway, uh, let's see, what do we miss? Um, let's, that fairly substantial attack broke Manicure Garden, so two breaks, two breaks, and it was a water ring, so we get... Yakuni, ooh. So, always oh, favorable ground. Okay. So, it was wise to, you know, kept. So, favorable ground. Um, uh, no hawk tattoo, um, which probably makes some people pretty happy because game were pack too. So, that favorable ground is um, really saves them from this uh, feast or f what could happen with feast or famine here, which is substantial. I mean, he could lose his whole board. And the Doom Shigan just sticking around for three rounds would be no fun. So I can imagine he's going to use the Investigator's ability and then just skedaddle from there. So if there's a court game, oh, Assassination comes down on the Swordsmith. Um, I guess he was worried about the Reprieve. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Swordsmith had no fate and there's no conflicts left. Um, oh, I guess he didn't defend at all, so now the political rival is the only defender. Um, I mean, sorry, the Kazuki Investigator is the only defender. So and he opts not to use the Kazuki Investigator's ability because he'd just be, you know, potentially giving a fate to his opponent, although he could put it on the air ring. But that would make a two fate air ring for next turn, and his opponent is the um, his opponent is the um, first player. So, yeah, I could see fates relatively tight for both players. So you don't want to be giving away fate that you don't have to. Um, okay, so we have two dis the dishonored crew is going to become rolling in um, here. He's down to four cards, so he might as well go restoration. I mean, he gives a, a secret fate, um, but at least he doesn't end up with an honored Kitsuki investigator. I think it's probably worth the secret fate um, to do that. And, you know, given a court game, something like that, he could be threatening a uh, second break here. A uh, third break, I mean, and becoming first player. So the dragon full court presses on on both sides, uh, really. Let's see, he's thinking about his attack. I mean... Void's not immediately impactful, but it is something. Uh, your first player next turn, you might want to take it with a fade on it. So he's going to stand for favor, um, stand the monk, which makes sense. And he's going air. I mean, he's down to five, but I don't know how quick this game is going. That's something you have to really worry about now. Because um, he already played his assassinate, and he only has one. And he's no spreading the darkness. So he's really no favor sinks afterwards. So he does opt for restoration. Uh, Kintsuki Investigator... Um, blocks and he's uh currently winning um thanks to yukuni's stats um and the favor down comes the kazuki methods which um latoris knew he had because he pulled it with the swordsmith so a court games plus box still not going to win this um so he needs a fan or something of his own to try to win this and it's certainly looking pretty difficult to break at this point so he might not. He might opt to just not commit any any additional, and they'll both go into the next round two breaks apiece, with sort of a farmable restoration as a third break province. Um, and on the Neki side, he has the manicure garden, the feast of famine. So manicure is not terrible, um, but it's certainly a little more painful to attack into than uh, than a restoration that's already been used or already been revealed. Okay, so the favor switches hands thanks to the Ancient Master, who wasn't going to contribute much anyway, and the boards um, disappear fairly substantially here. Um, we'll go down to just a two-fate Yukuni, who's clouded, versus a clouded uh, Katsuki Investigator. Uh, one's got a Katana Yukuni, and the other one has a Katsuki Method. So pretty even there. Slight edge to the Taurus, but uh, Alfred does have a three-fate advantage. And as well as a card advantage by one and an honor advantage, but I don't think the honor is end of the world right now. Oh, Samiko shows up with favor. Um, but he only is, oh, Samiko on both sides. 
So that ancient master really did his job there. Um, let me get the mouse out of there. Um, and so, but seven fate is not a ton. I guess this game's not going to go that much longer. So Samiko two fate is not is pretty is pretty strong. Even if she gets voided, she'll be around for two conflicts and potentially. F I mean, sorry, two rounds, four conflicts, five conflicts. Um, so yeah, Samiko two fate. Uh, he's definitely going to get the passing fate. I mean, Alfred cannot afford to uh, buy, not buy anyone. His choices, uh, I mean, he needs some military skill uh, here. I mean, certainly he, he can stop the political, uh, or he has a good chance to stop the political, but on the other side, there's eight, eight military skill on board um, versus two, <laughs> four, um, currently for Alfred. And I oh, he buys his own Simiko with one fate. So yeah, I think he's feeling threatened um, by this uh, favor back Simiko. Um, and he has, and he also has two, both his centers online, I guess. So any events in Alfred's deck, which isn't a ton at this point, are going to uh, be a threat of being centered. So the other spreading the darkness, the court games, um, the indomitable will, all that. It's going to be risk of not getting not going through uh having uh, almost half the deck drawn uh for both players or more so for Latours. so i i'm a little surprised that i mean at this point there hasn't been any let goes played by latour so he's got to be sitting on on one by now you think or unless it's pretty bad luck uh for zikuni and zikuni can copy i mean there's no no obviously great targets like uh ratsugu or um, neat and master, but you know, swordsmith, get him another card. It's not bad. Or investigator will pl pluck out a pretty strong card. Oh, and they both, uh, Litter's bid three and afraid bid one. So he's down to two honor, uh, here, which is pretty substantial. Um, factor actually, I'm a little surprised, um, that Alfred switched it up. Although he did have a card advantage and he still maintains it with that swordsmith. So Smith pulls a fine Cantana. Hmm. You don't see dragon versus the dragon match end on dishonor very often, but that's a real risk here. Um, given that Simiko is just going to keep standing the whole time, uh, I don't... I would imagine that getting it undefended is going to be difficult. Well, with the favorable ground, it's going to be super difficult. But still, um, you know, air will suck away one. Oh. Cloud the Mind comes down on Tsumiko as well. Um, so two targets for the let go. Two pretty strong targets. Uh, he's going to Restoration of Balance um, on the political, uh, guarded only by the Swordsmith. I guess um, Alfred wants to have a really strong backswing on both of his attacks, military and political. But it's going to be difficult to defend um, this with just the Swordsmith. I mean, I don't want to have any attachments you want to put on the Swordsmith. Uh, but assassination is off the table. Um, both characters on, both players on zero feet. <laughs> and contesting the air ring. So, forced to. Yeah, I think he's forced to contest a ring without fate. Yeah, definitely. He's still at zero, which is uh, an uh, unfortunate side effect of how low he is on honor. So, he, he does win the conflict and the break and goes out of danger terri on, territory on honor. That's. Very unlikely to happen at this point, but the cloud sticks, so Samiko gets bowed, um, which means with no fate, um, I mean, Yukuni, yeah, with no fate, um, there's just no way that uh, you're not going to have, a, oh, you have Fable Ground, right? There's going to be no undefendants at this point. Um, of course, uh, and there's a military, so of course, Afrid has to be thinking about the stronghold attack. He can switch to political which means a two political strength Yukuni four with box. It's, it's going to have a tough time breaking. Um, you know, court games would do it, but there could be counter court games. I'm uh, going to have a tough time breaking uh, the stronghold. So, you know, let's see if uh, Katsuki Investigator comes in. No, I sorry, Smiko. I mean, he could attack with Smiko and the Investigator. Um, and there's no, oh, there's a chance of a cloud, and no clouds have been played by. Oh, there's been one cloud. So two more clouds in Latour's deck for that Sumiko. So he opts not to attack with Sumiko. Um, oh, right, Sumiko, sorry. 
Alfred Simico, <laughs> a lot of Simicos on the field, does not have the favor, so she's going to bow anyway. Okay, yeah, so you just keep her for defense. Investigator goes in, goes in on feast or famine. Um, no chance of a conflict character. So yeah, so these, both these players have done a really good job of uh, not take not being damaged. I mean, yeah, Dragon's got a big advantage by having Pathfinder's Blade, <laughs> um, but not taking any damage from the opponent's provinces. Or very little. I mean, Shameful's display obviously, obviously always kind of hits you, but or often hits you, but still. Now, Feast of Famine's going to break, and without Pathfinder's Blade, it's not going to do anything. Um, let's see, so it's, an, it's Fable Ground, and just avoid losing the honor. And do we see it? Okay, it's got the one of Indomitable Will, so nope, doesn't come out. It could have been centered anyway, but you had the fate. So, oh, I don't know if you can. Well, I mean, Smiko kind of has to defend because a uh, court games without a counter court games or, or a fan <laughs> breaks your stronghold. So, oh, no, no, it's military. So, Bonsai, even more chance of breaking the stronghold than if Smiko doesn't defend. Um, and it could be a co conflict character. I mean, I guess like a Spreading the Darkness, of which he has another one on a Tagashi on a Tetsu Wanderer. Could probably shut down any military attack or a Bonsai. So who knows? Um, I mean, the Shikuni, I don't think Latours, I'd have to double check, has Indomitable Will. So, and he has one fate. So that means he could defend with his own Tattooed Wanderer. So it's a risky attack, I think. There are scenarios where you wouldn't break, and Samiko could come in and break your stronghold. Uh, so we got, I mean, we'll probably see some, yeah, fine Katana go down, and then that'll take, with box, Samiko up to 10. So it's going to be tough, with six cards in hand, it's going to be somewhat tough to win this. I mean, a Bonsai really kind of take you up over the top there, but that would be the main thing. Um, more swords, I suppose, on Yakuni. And we're fighting over the Earth Ring, which is pretty substantial at this point, with uh, four cards for Afrid and six cards for Latours. Now, and and Afrid already took the Void Ring, which was wise on his attack. Oh, no, sorry. And he voided off right on his first attack because all his characters are pretty vulnerable to the Void Ring and disappearing for next round, which will be pretty crucial, it seems. So Rally's already been popped, um, although for Dragon doesn't really matter, but it's a bit of an advantage. So the Taurus is thinking about whether he wants to throw another card in here. Uh, it's always tempting, right? Because it's the Earth Ring. It means a two-card sort of swing for you. But <laughs> if you could put in a lot of cards and you don't win the Earth Ring, um, it's uh, pretty bad. But this is also a fight over favor, another fight over favor, because whoever ring wins this ring is going to get favor and turn on their Samiko. This is actually pretty big. Um, Afrid does win it, so it looks like, he, uh, barring an Ancient Master drop, um, which he does have three, I believe. Um, this is going to be a Favor swinging back to the other Samiko and Stronghold. Yep, that's what we see. So Favor goes back to Afrid, which is huge. Um, so yeah, the Samiko buy um, was some might have uh, not done that, but I guess he had confidence that he could kidnap the favor so situation has swung now and Samiko can take two shots at this uh unless she gets clouded um two shots at this uh and there's no let go but it's got to be let goes in hands by now I mean we've seen one used between two dragon players <laughs> just pretty incredible at this point um yeah Samiko can take two shots at this uh stronghold here so Kuduk Kudaka's bot really buffering up both military and political. Um, Yukuni gets duped, which is good, but not... Oh, and a Simiko dupe as well. I mean, earlier in the game, when this... It certainly would have been really good to get that many dupes, but um, I guess you can spend a lot of money on your Newton Master. Uh, and your opponent's already used two clouds, so... You know, you've used a bunch of swords, um, but probably still have one for this Newton Master. So I would suspect the Newton Master gets bought with, say, two fate. Um, one fate, maybe. But yeah, the Simiko, because uh, Neat Master will certainly help deal with Simiko. I mean, he can equal her conflicts, actually have 
Uh, as first player, uh, it can equal a complex. They can both be in three. Uh, no, Katsuki Investigator, oh, and Neaton Master comes out. So certainly, Latours is feeling the pressure right now um, and uh, doesn't want to think about investing for the future, which makes sense. I mean, boards are going away pretty uh, on both sides, a lot of board. Um, and actually, next turn, barring any reprieves, which maybe they're saving their let goes for. Um, I would say Latours probably have the better board next turn. Yeah, I think so. Oh, sorry, that, that Samigo was clouded, so she wasn't, favor wasn't super important on the Terza's side, but denying the favor was certainly important. Uh, we see a 5-4 to four bid. Um, yeah, Latours, I think, couldn't risk a 5 because he'd just lose in the air ring if his opponent bid 1. But, uh, yeah, 5-4. to four. So they both, now, no dishonor. I don't think dishonor is on the card. It's a way to win this game, so they're both just... Um, going for the break, get as much ammo as they can. And we certainly had a shootout here <laughs> in terms of just provinces falling relatively rapidly. In turn four, I mean, certainly Dragon could do it even faster, but turn four, um, heading into uh, each other's strongholds. I, this in it's an interesting matchup. I mean, a lot of times it is very volatile and quick like this, but I had one game in a tournament the other day, Dragon versus Dragon, and we played six rounds in the whole 60 minutes, and we broke one province <laughs> each i think maybe two maybe opponent my opponent broke another one in the last sort of round uh we just yeah with sacred sanctuary and all your your whole province role being just bad news bears to hit <laughs> um takes a you know you do a lot of passing for the first couple of rounds and then there's a lot of not bowing and defending and that type of thing so you you know this this can turn into a real defensive matchup too because the boards are fairly sticky as well when you buy high fake characters so Okay, so Latour has got to think this over. Uh, I guess he's thinking about something in the draw step. Uh, must be a cloud? Um, let's see, how many reprieves has he played? Because, oh, he's played two. So Latour has played two reprieves, and he's bought both his characters with no fate. Um, like I said, he's, just, he's playing so he doesn't lose this round. He goes first next round, so it would be an advantage for him. No reprieves on... Um, we played on Alfred's side, which is pretty big. But then again, no let goes. So I suspect we'll see some, you know, reprieve into let goes um, at the end of this round. Um, because certainly we'd like to keep Samiko around. We'd like to keep that investigator around. Okay, so we pass pass in the draw step. Swordsmith goes fishing for something. Cloud would be good. Oh, fine katana. Okay. I wonder what his choices were. I mean, certainly when you're low on fairly, relatively, well, he's not that low on the fate. He can pick something off a ring, he can have four, so. Um, let's see. Water. He's going to defend with everything, probably, so water's not a big deal. Um, fire. Could be. Yeah, Fire's pretty good. Dishonor the uh, Neat Master, which will really hamper him in all the conflicts he wants to be in. So I think f I would suspect Fire all with Kudaka. You know, airs all, oh, we get a Covert. Covert Samiko as first player is very rough. Um, two attacks with Covert with his Samiko. So I would imagine he's going to just go in Samiko to pop Rally. And then, but then he has to defend. Yeah, this would be, a, I think, a pretty interesting turn. Because uh, he goes all in. I don't... And Rally switches it. Um, because military strength is really not that high compared to his political. Uh, then... So he takes Kudaka and Samiko on a water ring. Oh, he's going to covert one of the... Yeah, he's going to covert one of the no fake characters, which is pretty strong. Oh, he's taking Swordsmith as well. Well, this is going to force a pretty substantial defense. So I would imagine you're going to covert the master because you don't want him to just sort up and be available. Yep. So that would say, mili oh, he's all in. Um, okay, it's bold. I mean, certainly, yeah, I guess force is a pretty big defense. But, and Samiko will be unbowed for the... Um, 
for the uh, for the uh, crackback. But like I said, there's no cloud of the minds have been played by Litor. So if there's more, oh, but he's only got one fate. Okay, so you could play one cloud on Samiko. But if there's no let go to answer that, that would be pretty rough. Um, that might be game game ending right there. But like I said, he's been through. 22 cards <laughs> and played one Leko. So, I mean, yeah, Cloud versus the second. We'll see what happens. It's pretty interesting. Oh, he's got the Investigator, but he's attacking... Yeah, he's attacking Political with Investigator, so he can strip any... Unless the Cloud is played right now, but he can strip some, strip some threatening cards. Um, so we see Litors play... Do, do his own Investigator, so we can see what's in hand. Um, so Alfredo has an Ancient Master. Can add a little bit of strength. Two Ancient Masters, so pretty good chance to get in favor this turn if he wants it. He's got a Bonsai, um, so his next conflict could be dangerous or his de military defense. He's got a Censure, um, definitely good to have. He's got a Cloud the Miner himself, another one, his third one. Court Games, he has no let go. Whew. So the Court Games gets discarded. So if there's a Cloud from Litors onto this Simiko then the neat master can have probably two free shots on oh, the swordsmith he can cloud yeah the neat master could have two shots at the stronghold if he wanted them so i would sus oh no um court games is guarded always winning uh trade boxes rally cause is still breaking so i would imagine a little surprised we haven't seen Alfred's um, Alfred's uh, Kazuki Investigator yet. A fan comes down because he could have like stripped off that fan, that sort of thing. And he has the fate to do it. Sure, he wants to save it for the Neat Masters and stuff, but and the reprieve. So he can't spend. Definitely can't spend it all. But uh, let's see what's going to happen here. So, Ornate Fan comes down on Samiko. And we have, it's not breaking. Um, oh, they traded fans on Samiko, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But certainly, if there's no cloud, this, well, Samiko will have to defend. So. Yeah, I wonder if he's thinking about the Kinsuki Investigator, or I think he's got to get a handle on this conflict. Because if he just wins, and it's... Oh, the Water Ring will bow the Neat Master, but he can just sword, you know, twice to get in those conflicts. Um, and, I mean, you can cloud yourself, but... I mean, Alfred could cloud, but, again, there's... No let goes have been played by... The Taurus, you got to suspect it's there. I mean, maybe if there's one, you can get it out of his hand. So yeah, there's a cloud the mind comes down. Um, so yeah, there must be something he wants to use this fate on um, to not Kintsuki Investigator first, I would imagine. Oh, he can't. Sorry. Ugh, I've been talking away and it's, the Kintsuki's clouded. <laughs> maybe I should zoom a little bit here to help myself. Sorry about that, guys. The Kintsuki's clouded, so that, yeah, duh. He can't, uh, can't actually do it. Okay, uh, so very close conflict, eight to thirteen, eighteen to thirteen. Um, let's see if he's got. Let's see if Latour has got the Aleko for this. He didn't. Oh, he didn't have the cloud for Samiko. So Samiko, I mean, ooh, Samiko is going to get can get a military attack here. We know it's his bonsai. Um. Oh, well, good game, Latour's doesn't have, didn't have the cloud and doesn't have the let go for Neaton Master to have some defense.